Uh, I just uh, had a conversation with Al Franken congratulating him on, on his victory. And uh, I told him it's the uh, best job that he'll ever had representing the people of the state of Minnesota in the United States Senate. Ours is a government of laws, not men and women. The Supreme Court of Minnesota has spoken. I respect its decision, and I will abide by its result. It's time for Minnesotans to come together under the leaders it has chosen and move forward. And I join all Minnesotans in congratulating our newest United States Senator, Al Franken. I have never believed that my service is irreplaceable. We have reached the point where further litigation damages the unity of our state, which is also fundamental. In these tough times, we all need to focus on the future, and the future today is that we have a new United States Senator. I congratulate Al Franken and his victory in this election. He now enjoys the advantage that our congressional delegation has over the other 525 people on Capitol Hill. He represents Minnesota. I don't reach this point with any big regrets. I ran the campaign I wanted. I conducted the legal challenge I wanted. I have always believed you do the best you can and you leave the results up to a higher authority. I'm at peace with that. As for my future plans, that's a subject for another day. We live in a great country and a great state. We can all have confidence that by some path we don't know yet, one which we can all come together to lay out, we will arrive at the better future that we all seek. Thank you. May God bless Minnesota. May God continue to bless the United States of America.